Hey guys, before we start today's episode, I want to talk about our first sponsor, Gorilla Graphics Design Agency, who can provide you with top tier effects and production value. Um, I've been working closely with them lately. It really truly is um, amazing to see a company like this, you know, continuing to grow, continuing to do stuff. So I really love everything that they do. Their team has everything you can ask for, including professional equipment and a stellar end product from top to bottom. Head over to GorillaGraphics.com for all of your design needs today. That's G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A-G-R-F-X dot com. Guys, our next sponsor is one that you're probably familiar with, Starbucks Productions. They are the backbone for many of the events that you see in the Midwest, from EDM festivals like Field Trip um, to hip-hop shows like the Hip Hop Showcase. The company has been working closely with this podcast since the beginning, and we always have plenty of things planned for the future. So if you're looking to plan your next gig or event, Head over to their Facebook page to learn more today. Hello, everybody. This is McAllister's podcast. I'm your host, as always, Colin McAllister. Um, We are coming back today um, for a Halloween special our one of our favorite traditions here in the Calister Hours. Um, also joined today by uh, our our employee. Our <laughs> I'm I kidding. Work here anymore. <laughs> I know. I, well, uh, you've been you've been away on safari doing research for the Calister podcast. Um, that's that's what you've been doing, right? Mm-hmm. That's why you've been so busy. Why you've been gone so much? Yeah. What have you discovered on safari, Molly? I don't know. <laughs> You make this lower. Uh, you're you're. <laughs> it's too high. How is that? That's better. That's better. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you always talk so softly. Mm. I always feel like I have to turn it up for you. <laughs> well, I wanted to say I wanted to say before we start. I know in the past I'm usually pretty mean to you. Um, but I, I will say with the, um, recent, uh, Tim Dillon, Ben Avery breakup, I've, uh, I've decided that I'm going to be nicer to you. What's that? Molly. What? What's that? Oh, uh, Tim Dillon's assistant left his show. Cause he's a dick? Yeah. Not surprised. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided to be nicer to you, which really isn't going to amount to that much. It's probably going to be like 30% less, but you know, um. Give me your hand. <laughs> <laughs> One to at least. Did, did, is it locked? Did I lock it? Try it. Yeah, I think I locked it. What? Oh, well, you figured it out. There you go. <laughs> You're going to make me a zombie. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um. Yeah, but it, it's been a while since you've been on the show, so... Thanks for coming. Um, you don't get a raise for coming on, though, unfortunately. So I don't get paid. <laughs> Molly, you're not supposed to tell people I pay that. money to be here. <laughs> I pay money so you can do your podcast in yeah. this room. Well, that that's how good my podcast is, is that no. even my own assistant will pay to be <laughs> on. She will pay the fee. That's how great I am. <laughs> okay. She will. Yeah. She she won't even take payment. She'll just be mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, I just really want to be here." Mm-hmm. Um. So we both decided to be cannibals for Halloween. Um. You are, uh, Hannibal Lecter from Sons and the Lambs, which we we watched before October even started. I think. Yeah. What? Why were you inspired to do this? The truth. <laughs> yeah. It was easy. It was easy. It's very little effort. That's fair. I just thought, thought I could put in some hair gel and a white shirt and some fake blood, and I'm done. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, it, it looks it looks good. I think uh, I, I did a pretty good job with the blood. Mm-hmm. I, I will say, I uh, like because I was looking through, I was scrolling, like which would be the best and the easiest. I think I found a good combination. Um, and I am uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, mm-hmm. um, my hero. You don't look that different. Mm-hmm. I really don't. That's kind of the. Th- I was trying to find the glasses. I couldn't find the glasses, yeah. so I'm just kind of 
uh, I have a mustache and a bunch of blood on me. That's kind of the only distinction. But I have a prop. I oh. mean, your hair. Your hair looks vaguely similar. I tried. You know, if Jeffrey Dahmer was on a podcast, I like to think that's what I would look like. <laughs> Honestly, it'd look better without the headphones. Hmm. Which I just, the whole time, just not wear the headphones. Just. You do look more like. Hey, come take some pictures. Or you come take some pictures. I can't do his accent. Because it's kind of just like a Wisconsin, like, yeah. drawl. Like, Wisconsin. Wisconsin drawl. Hey, you want to come to my house and take some pictures? No, you just sound like a cowboy. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> hey, y'all. You want to come to my house and take some pictures? Take some pictures and then ride on the saddle. See, the thing is, you're not even trying to base it on, like, Jeffrey Dahmer's accent. <laughs> you're basing it on Evan Peters playing Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Well, if his you didn't do any. Is... You did no research <laughs> of whatsoever. Course I, of course I did, Molly. I did about as much research for that as I did any of my other guests. Not, not a lot. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> not a whole lot. How are you dealing with all this, by the way? It's How's very it? sticky. Very. Yeah. That's what. The, that is the thing that said in the recipe. That I was like, yeah, Molly isn't gonna like that. I'm not no. gonna like that. But you're just watered down. Yeah, I, don't I still feel sticky though, and I got well. I got over most of your face, but like I feel it like by my eyes. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Anyway, speaking of Dahmer, um, so we have we have a list of films that we watched over this last month, and we kind of gave them our own ratings, and we thought it'd be fun to talk about them because that's kind of what we do every Halloween special. So we just talk about movies. Too bad we didn't make posters. We you mean make posters? I don't know, like little movie posters or like little like hand signs, like stars. Oh, uh, well, we can we can put, we'll, we'll, in post, we'll put the posters up. Mm. For every time we talk about a movie, we'll put a little image up. That's How's a that lot sound? of effort for you. It is a lot of effort. But you know what? I really care about this podcast and I really care about this episode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Oh, okay. I'm going to go through the effort and do it. Okay. I know you don't believe in me, but. I don't. I, <laughs> You've given me no reason to believe in you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, per usual. But you know what? You know what's going? What's you know? You're still here, so really, this is your fault. Yeah. MVP of the podcast, Bambi the dog, Bambi the Chihuahua dog. I'm gonna dress up as like Legally Blonde. <laughs> I would so that I could carry Bambi around and be like, "This is my prop." Yeah, that would have been a much more uh, less messy costume, huh? Yeah, I'm going to have to go buy a shit ton of stuff because I don't have any pink. I own one pink shirt and it's not even that pink. True. You like that movie? We, we I do, won. actually. I haven't, I don't know if I've ever seen through the whole thing. I've seen we'll bits. i have to watch it sometime. She's I'm, very smart. Yeah, my mom really likes that movie because She got know, almost the perfect score on the LSAT. In the movie, mm-hmm. mm. well, yeah. I mean, it is amazing what the screenwriters can think of. You know? She's real. <laughs> She's real. She's real. It was based off a real person. Oh, for real? No. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck uh. you. <laughs> Here I am, like, I, I was thinking, I'm like, why would they base that off a real person? Yeah. Like what? That was just some screenwriter's like roommate or something. Uh anyway, so we watched a couple different movies, but I thought first before we delve into the movies that we would talk about Ikue. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um Molly also has an injury that she's recovering from. So we can talk about that later maybe if you want to. <laughs> I know you're dying too. <laughs> dying to talk about it. The whole weekend. Oh oh yeah. Yeah. Well maybe towards the end. Um so we watched this Dahmer show, and I thought, I mean, I've talked about it a couple times in the podcast before, but um, pretty solid. Uh, I gave it a four stars. You gave it three and a half. Um, what were your overall thoughts about it? Uh, overall, I liked it. Uh, I wish it would have been slightly more linear. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. It was very Tarantino-esque. But... And also there were parts like it just kind of dragged. 
it was very long. I felt like uh, like I like getting to see those parts like of like how this person became this way, but some of it just seemed unnecessary. Yeah, I feel like they could have done it in four or five parts. Yeah, in step ten. Yeah, easily. Um, but I mean, I really liked it. I thought even uh, even Evan Peters did like a a phenomenal job playing his role. I thought it was it was just great all around. I do think that they would have benefited more from talking to the families of the victims. Yeah, well, the thing, but I think that would have added more like. texture but not more text like what it would like in a way that would have benefited yeah okay i don't know i think you know and that's kind of something that we talked about afterwards is like kind of, that was kind of some of the central controversies mm-hmm. that the families weren't depicted well um if they weren't depicted well they just i think they just like chose not to involve families or something right i don't know or maybe something they like didn't that. i don't know I feel like the victims, like, were portrayed as, like, they were gay. Mm. Which, yeah, okay, but, like, they're people. They have more than that. I, yeah, I will, like, say, I will say that that was a very, like... Uh, like, that's not the only thing that you should be caring about. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't even think about that aspect, how they, it was very... I mean, because, I mean, you know, gay homosexuality was obviously a theme of it, but, like, it was very upfront. Like, it seemed to be very central. Well, and that's kind of the thing, too, how it got thrown on, like, the LGBTQ page yeah. of Netflix. Not a lot of people were pissed about that. And they took it off. Yeah. And it's it's not that, like, it was being, like, too upfront with that stuff. Like, I just feel like they took that aspect of specifically the victims mm. and like made that their like only defining quality i see yeah i agree well (laughs) um the other like the the deaf guy yeah i was just gonna say that was his other like he was gay and deaf and that's all they showed they showed (laughs) him struggling to be deaf and gay at the same time and like that was it yeah they didn't get into like any of his actual but he was like they were in a relationship for a little bit like they could have had like there's much there was like a lot more to that yeah all they cared about was those two things yeah exactly you know i don't know what was worse about jeffrey Dahmer. the the fact he was gay or the fact he's loved black people that's not even funny (laughs) that was just lame (laughs) that wasn't funny no god that fell flat you like it was like oh uh, oh uh, no <laughs> not even not even enough for like a booing it's just crickets <laughs> <laughs> different audience maybe might might have done better with a different audience i people have been telling me i'm funny lately i've been wondering if i should pursue my career in stand comedy probably not <laughs> i don't think i should do that. i don't have time mm-hmm. I don't have time to be a stand comedian. Just do a career that makes money. Yeah. You can make a lot of money doing that, but it's very, 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 very People hard. can. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Me. Your computer oh, shut down. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Well, we have it on here, so we're okay. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Mm-hmm. That was like... Wow. Yeah, that's not good at all, actually. What the fuck? I haven't even played any video games when it's shut down. Anyways, Blue Screen of Death. You gotta love that shit, right? Um, okay. So, before we get into the movies, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Molly, since we're on the topic of horror, scariness, terrifying aspects, um, what is your biggest fear? Needles. <laughs> You knew that. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, I, I was hoping maybe for like a deeper philosophical, but. Number just, two? Sure. The dark. <laughs> Three? Ladybugs. <laughs> or flies. Either one of those two. 
Number four? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is pre <laughs> I like it. I like how you have a list back catalog in your head. Thank you. Um, I don't know what my greatest fear is. Probably loneliness. That's a lot to unpack. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> 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 well, How's your relationship with your mom? <laughs> you know, not very good. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did your mother not love you? <laughs> you know, I, I think she did at first. <laughs> <laughs> she gave you a few years, and then when you still weren't talking, she's like, nah, <laughs> not worth it. Let's try for a new oh, child. <laughs> And then they had the one they really love. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Stop. <laughs> your parents love you. Okay. Really, you would say loneliness is your biggest fear? I mean, yeah, probably. Probably loneliness and then imprisonment. Why are your fears weird? <laughs> I don't know. They just seem <laughs> Why is that weird? I don't know. Not weird. Weird's the wrong word. Like too deep, yeah. Too philosophical, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a classy motherfucker, and that's what no. that's what happens. I in thought you were gonna head. say like the fucking deep ocean, because I know that, that shit freaks. freaks. I know that scares you. That does scare me, actually. Fuck, that might be worse than uh, loneliness well, or imprisonment. That might be worse than imprisonment. Yeah, the deep ocean. Mm-hmm. Deep ocean really freaks me out. That's why you should like read the book ang- I'm reading right now. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know, that's another thing. You're fucked up books. What was... Why don't you describe to the audience the last book that you read um, no, called Cow? Why don't you talk cows? about... Um, cows? First of all, yeah. that was two books ago now. Well, you read so fucking many, I can't even keep track of them. And they're all in the Kindle, so I have no visual yeah, visual representation anymore of where you're at. I can't get these kinds of books <laughs> at the library. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> you, you, your thirst for gore and um, awfulness. Yeah. You know the guest, the guest we had on earlier today, Hank. I was telling him about um, the movie Grotesque we watched, and he was just horrified. And like our uh, this thing that we developed, where we watch these really fucked up movies, I really worry about telling people about it. Yeah, it's really getting to a point where it's like I think people think with that we're actually insane. That this is mm-hmm. like what we're covered in right now is real blood. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do you actually want me to talk about the book? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, then no. No, no, I really do. Like, I, 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 people need to know um, what I'm working with here in terms of his assistant. Okay, well. This is the reason spo- why the show's fucked spoiler, up. Spoiler alerts. You want to read the book Cows by Matthew Stoko? Stokoe? No, Something fuck like that. that. Don't don't read this book. If you do <laughs> want to read it, don't listen because I will spoil it. But it's about this guy who never moves out and is stuck in this apartment with his abusive mom who feeds him awful food. And he finally gets a job at a slaughterhouse for cows. And... uh. I mean, <laughs> he starts to gain more confidence and um, decides his mom just challenges him to, like, see if you can cook better. So he shits on a plate and makes her eat. They both eat his shit and for, like, three days. And she gets real sick, and he actually starts to not mind it. Uh, <laughs> and his upstairs neighbor believes that sh- there are, like these like black poisonous crystals inside you and so she's trying to like cut them out of her body so he walks up into her apartment because he's convinced like she's his ticket to a better life and he's she's got uh an anal probe in with a video camera trying to look for the crystals and he just bends her over and bangs her while looking at her colon which is full of poop. <laughs> and yeah. Then he kills his mom by pooping in her mouth and like he like 
chokes her out, like gets her on the ground somehow. Duct tapes. How does himself. this man have so much poop? <laughs> well, I mean, this is like he poops daily, like you do, and he eats terrible food, so it's like. Oh, I see. Yeah. So is he is he like smoking a cigarette and eating a like Dairy Queen well, like burger his, or something like while trying to shit like, on the plate? Oh no, it's like gray. They they actually describe yes what, in, de- in detail. Dude, they describe what? the poop. Stop reading these books. <laughs> That's the first half. So then after he kills his mom, like the second half is he starts talking to cows, and starts getting like bloodthirsty, wanting to kill people, and also wanting to be the cow leader. It's complicated. You know what book I think you need to read? What the Bible? I tried. It's boring. <laughs> it's a very boring book. <laughs> I don't think I even made it through Genesis. <laughs> Damn, not even Genesis? No. Wow, bro. Is Abraham in Genesis? Yes. Yeah, they just it goes on and on. Just, you know, it's really crazy like when you are like learning about the Old Testament in like elementary school and shit, like it's really only Genesis they talk about. Like yeah, Exodus, ex- no, they talk about Exodus too. Oh, do they? Moses. Moses was Exodus? Moses is Exodus. I guess that makes exiting. sense, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, like, like after Exodus, there's like, there's so much in the Old Testament that like, mm-hmm. it's just basically text. Like, do you remember the order of the books? So um, Genesis, Genesis, Ex- Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Leviticus Deuteronomy, Deuteron- or, Numbers. No, Numbers is before Deuteronomy, uh, isn't it? I don't know. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua. No, that's not right. No, that's as far as we're going. That's boring now. Fuck. That's yeah. all I can do. It's all bullshit. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well anyways uh so these 10, ten we managed to watch 10 of the 12 films 10 of the 20 films or 10, or 10 of the 20 we films we thought we could watch we picked 10 films each yeah we made it through five of each yeah which honestly com- given how busy we really are and all the shit we had going yeah. this month is honestly pretty impressive um i do kind of wish we had more time to Get everything squared away but yeah well we can still watch the movies on the list yeah yeah we can it doesn't ab- have to end yeah for sure yeah we'll watch them afterwards and like uh you can do a part two could in theory could that could be like a patreon thing do a little just like a horror you know that could be like a regular i think that'd be fun regular patreon content right just like, movie talk yeah just movie talk every couple weeks i could do that people would watch that shit you can just do audio just upload the audio I look at like shit every day. Why does it matter? Well, if that's how you feel, then you would appreciate the audio, right? Aren't you? You would request it. I go out in the public like this, like <laughs> just like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is normal. Molly reads books about uh, sh- you know, shitting in mother's mouths, and then she takes a bite out of an arm and goes into work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fun like stuff. An, like an apple. <laughs> <laughs> just like an apple yeah uh, you know i was where's where's some of that sandwich where's that human flesh sandwich that jeffrey dahmer human flesh sandwich where's that you shit? made it i did make one i was gonna give it to you but i ate it all because it tasted so good <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're together sometimes. Oh, I um. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Desperation leads to strange places. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> not desperate. I love you so much. Um, so... W- these 10 movies so let's just get let's just do the five five of the ones that you did uh which were the ritual from 2017 the wretched from 2019 a dark song from 2016 terrifier from 2016 and grotesque from 2009 um well actually fuck it let's just read them all um and then my movies were brain dead from 1992 halloween ends from 2022 the black phone from 2022 X from 2022 and Spiral from Damn. 2021. You went. Yeah, well, I was, I was looking at that too. See, like, I went to the golden age of horror and you went to the, like now. The golden I'm age of horror? Just, this is the 
the years that I really got into watching horror movies, but no, I had a kind of a theme. Those first three. Well, no, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you had the theme of like basically witchcraft stuff and just really Folk fucked horror. up torture shit. To be fair, <laughs> you were the one who suggested I pull from that list. True, true. I was just going to do straight up like folk horror because those are my favorite. Mm. But what, what, I mean, you kind of talked about this before, but like, what is it about folk horror that uh, you like about? I don't know the imagery Mm. kind of like the scare like that's my favorite part about watching like i like to see the monsters and i like to see like how scary things people can make things look and a lot of like folk horror is like again like playing with like things in the dark Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i don't know just like i like that like dark like naturey essence yeah yeah well i mean i you know going to camp and stuff i can kind of relate to that like we had this uh myth called magnus biddy there is this uh and this is actually true at camp there was like a, a little peninsula that you would canoe across the lake to and like there was a burnt down house and everything but would they create this myth that there's this myth that there was a uh, lady called magnus biddy that would like take kids and stuff and eat them and shit Mm-hmm. So like I could definitely like th- there's like a part of me that like can relate to the the creepiness of mm-hmm. that weird creepy woodsy shit. Um, yeah. So so the, uh, I guess let's just go down the list. Uh, the ritual from 2017. I gave us a three and a half. You gave it a four. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I think we had started this movie before and it was kind of um, possibly. Yeah, I got a lot of midsummer vibes from it. Um, yeah, it was a very again folk horror. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I don't know. What were your thoughts on that? Oh, I can't remember the guy. <laughs> the guy who wrote the book. I can't remember his name. Hmm. But I read another book by his earlier this year called Cunning Folk. And it was really good. And it was along the same lines, like just like witchy folk horror stuff. And I think that the god in the movie is very creepy yeah and unsettling yeah it's very like, true it's like this giant deer beast but then his head is a person with little tiny hands <laughs> he's, yeah very he's gonna true. grab you <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that was kind of weird um i you know i really liked how they interwove uh the stuff with like the scenes in the store yeah with the forest they did a very mm-hmm. good job with that and like this was the third time I've seen this movie. Okay. Because the first time I watched it with my ex and like kind of remembered it, kind of didn't. And so I started watching it again because I was like, oh, this looks creepy. And I was like, wait, I have seen this already. But then I watched it a second time. So then the third time I watched it, like I forgot a lot of the end, like the end with like the village of the people. And so it was more in depth than I remember it being. Mm. I see. So, yeah. Well, I remember I w- I was kind of disappointed with the ending. I remember that was a part that like, yeah. Um, and that was kind of you know that's kind of the theme of a lot of these movies. I felt like it's just the ending just failed a lot yeah. of times. I felt like. I don't think the ending was bad. It wasn't bad. It just was lackluster. A, a lot of the, these movies just seemed to kind of end at one point. See, I, I don't agree. I don't agree with that for the ritual. I think it had a good ending Hmm. interesting because the one guy Mm -hmm. who like the whole time is like blaming himself for his friend's death uh and they all blame him too because yeah he didn't do anything but still yeah um like he overcomes his like paralysis of like being like freezing when he's scared Mm, and he fair. makes it out. That's fair. I guess I never thought of that. And way. as soon as he like fights it, he finds the edge of force. Yeah, I guess it just all kind of seemed to like come come together to perfect. If that makes sense. Everybody else died. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I am glad that the guy with the glasses was annoying as fuck. 
I yeah. hate that fucking guy. Too bad you don't have your notebook with the notes. Yeah. You were gonna you were gonna start like taking notes during these movies. You only took notes for the ritual, and you only wrote guy with glasses want to punch in face <laughs> hope he dies <laughs> and he did die and he did he died pretty gruesomely too i think uh, ish not not as i mean kind of they tied him to the, the stake and yeah he got hung in the tree i see yeah but yeah it was crazy shit um speaking of crazy shit i gotta take a little break here <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> so we'll be right back everybody i don't think it's gonna be right back well you know the, pa- mm-hmm. the magic of editing it's will- gonna be like 45 minutes <laughs> well it's gonna be asleep by the time we come back pinch it off <laughs> all right we'll be right back you know you're not getting paid enough to operate the machinery <laughs> do it do it do it do it do it no that's all we're oh, doing i'll do it no you're gonna hurt the table <laughs> this is the only good piece of furniture we have <laughs> isn't that sad that's it's for the podcast does that does that ca- cause any resentment now that doesn't work now the lock you gotta work. do you gotta do in the middle oh yeah ah yeah um, it is sad that you took the good dining room <laughs> table and used it for the podcast <laughs> But Shows are my priorities, yeah. Now, right? <laughs> That's how angry I am. Um. Okay. So the next one on the list, uh, the wretched. The wretched. Um. I give that three stars. I actually enjoyed that one though. Yeah. Um. Didn't I? It. Yeah. You gave it a three and a half. I gave it okay. three stars. I'm sorry, I didn't include yours because mm-hmm. you're not yeah. important. <laughs> um but no like uh, it it w- did have creepy imagery um it was kind of weird and goofy and mm-hmm. you know not like the best movie by any means <laughs> yeah it is sticky <laughs> isn't it throwing in the dryer is a bad idea how's your how's it on your face is it getting pretty annoying yeah yeah it's dry oh, it's, it's dry as fuck. <sighs> oh yeah uh. you're having a fun shower <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, I thought I thought it was fun. It was a fun movie. Yeah. Uh, I literally picked it because I liked the cover. <laughs> I thought the cover was really cool. Uh, and then turns out I actually had wanted to see it when it first came out in 2019. That was a long time ago. I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, this looks spooky. Something comes out of a deer. Heck yeah. <laughs> and then promptly <laughs> forgot that movie ever existed. However, yeah. you did show me a trailer for it once, didn't you? I feel like I did. Yeah. Uh, then I thought it was the movie Antlers. Mm. And we watched when we watched that Antlers. That was a fucking that was a good, dumpster fire. No, no. That was a shit movie. We liked that movie until the end. You actually yeah. said, "Hey, this movie's pretty good." I said, "Yes, it is." Oh, I do. And remember then that now. It, once they went in the mine, then it got all fucky and yeah, stupid. Yeah, because it was kind of. I remember it was a good analogy for like uh, child abuse. abuse and yeah, stuff. child yeah. abuse and shit. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so then we watched Antlers, and I was like, "Hmm, this was nothing like that trailer." Weird. <laughs> oh well. Blocked it out of my mind. <laughs> well. There you go. Yeah, it was good. I liked the. I thought the lady was creepy. I thought. The, yeah. I thought the ending was good. Yeah, I mean, how did that movie end again? So was he just walking or something? No. So they like set the tree on fire. Yeah. And then oh, he goes right, home with right. his family. Oh, they did. And his yeah, they ended on the cliffhanger. Like, gives him yep. the flower, but it's a fake flower because the lady the kills flowers all the flowers. Dies. Yeah. And we're like, oh shit. That okay, yeah. Because that's where that like, oh no, ending. she can't be, she can't be evil because the flower didn't die, and then it was a fake flower, uh, and then her body went like. That's right. Yeah. 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 It wasn't an amazing movie, but it was solid. Yeah. It was a solid horror movie. It was. Mm-hmm. I I say of this list, it was one of the few like actually solid horror movies, despite yeah. not being that great. It was. It was still decent. Mm-hmm. Um, and we watched a dark song, which I gave three stars also, and you gave two stars. Yep. Um, you actually, you liked that less than me, which I thought was interesting. Mm-hmm. What didn't you like about it? I thought it was boring. It was kind of boring. It was very dry. And I feel like 
I lost the point. I don't know. It just, it just, it felt like it. There wasn't a concise plot. Like there was. Like the whole time she's trying to talk to her kid, who's dead, mm. or maybe dead. No, because yeah, she gets he gets kidnapped. Yeah. Well, it Party. was it was weird because she was trying to the the motive kept changing. It was like yeah. She wanted to bring him back, and she wanted vengeance, and then she eventually was like, I forgive him. Or I want to forgive him. That was like her thing. No, she, she wants to forgive the people who hurt him. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Well, I think the whole time she had the same idea, except for the forgiveness part, but it was like she was hiding it, which is fine, but just like, I don't know. It was just weird, like... All of, like, the spooky, like, go through the ritual stuff, like, ended up being fake. Well, or, yeah. Like, it didn't work or whatever. Yeah. And then they... It was just weird, it too. Was, yeah. It just... It, it was a long, long time of nothing happening. Yeah, it really and then was. The a payoff bunch of wasn't... stuff happened. It was like, wait, what's happening? And then it was like, the end. Yeah, yeah. The payoff was... Giant woman in the house. Oh. <laughs> that was weird too that yeah. was like some final fantasy shit like what but, the fuck's going on yeah i mean that was her guardian angel yeah but yeah good shit <laughs> not good shit no. <laughs> i was but, really disappointed because i heard that that was a really good folk horror movie yeah well what can you do uh terrifier that was the next one so mm -hmm. this is we didn't get a chance to see terrifier 2 because um I just I had a link and then I lost the link and then it's in theaters right now. So, but we watched Terrifier one. Mm -hmm. Um, I see this deck. I see why people like it. I still thought it was a garbage fucking movie overall. Um, why did you read it? I gave it. Excuse me. I gave it a star and a half, and you gave it four stars. That's probably by far our biggest contrast. Yeah. <clears throat> so why why do you enjoy this movie? Is it purely for the gore or? I think that Art the Clown is creepy as shit looking, and I maybe I have a weird thing for mimes. Not for mimes, like, against mimes. Yeah. Because the fact that he didn't talk weirded me out. I, the first time I watched it, I remember it made, he made him, like, way more creepy. Mm. The fact that he didn't talk. And, like, I felt like I was constantly waiting for him to talk, and he never did. Which is probably good, because I would have been disappointed. <laughs> and the gore. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, they, I mean, they definitely deliver on the gore aspect for sure. I feel mm -hmm. like. But like, yeah. What, what, what was, I'm trying to remember, like, what were the really gory parts that started? Uh, the movie? face is the pumpkin. Like, he carved the face into a, the, the cook, the pizza place, into a jack o' lantern. Oh, I do remember that. And yeah. then he's like, stabbed the shit out of the guy. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. And like his little tongue was still wagging. <laughs> um, what else was gory? Uh, he sawed a woman in half from the crotch <laughs> oh. to her head. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that, that, he that. scalped a woman and cut her boobies off and wore them both. Pretending oh, that's to be a right. lady. That's right. I will say that was some of the best, like, uh, nudity to, like, just <laughs> pure God, carnage. What else was there? there? was a couple other things that were good. I don't remember what. <laughs> oh, in the, in the beginning, the, the survivor of all this with the news lady, and she, like, oh, squeezes her head oh, in. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, that was, like, that was the thing about the film that I hated is, like, it had the most nonsensical plot ever. Like, if it had a steady plot, I would have at least been, like, a decent movie. What do you mean it had an unsteady plot? I just remember there being things that didn't make any sense about it. Like, the timeline with, like, that lady and, like, other shit like that, it was just, it didn't really match up. But it did. It started in the future. It was, like, a year yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. And so then, she turns out she's like this whole ordeal made her crazy and like kill this pretty lady and it's like what made her start that okay let's start at the beginning yeah here's two girls who you think is gonna be the girl you think that the dark haired gothic girl is gonna be the lady at the end and it wasn't it was her sister mm. and that's what i also liked is the girl i thought was gonna you know be what? the final girl uh died 
Yeah, okay, so that I remember that part I fucking hated. I hated I how they had a main character and they killed them two thirds yeah. of the way through, and then the le- they just ended with this random ass character. It wasn't even much. random, it was her sister. Okay, but basically random. We had we like saw her for one phone call and then oh four like an hour later, oh, here's this person that we have no emotional a- attachment yeah. to. Just getting chopped up. You know she's the smart, reliable, dependent one. Yeah. And you get to know the sister. And then it's like he doesn't even like slash her. He just shoots the shit out of her. Yeah, that <laughs> he part just was. Pulls out a gun and just blasts her. I also didn't like that. I don't know. Uh, There's just something about when serial killers have guns that just like I, it just turns me off. It's like even like in Saw when he like has the trap with the guns. Like I didn't even. I remember not even liking that trap with the guns. Where he's like running and then like the, all the guns go off. Like when the um. The guy from Lethal Weapon, like his partner dies. Oh in the yeah. first one. Really? Yeah, that was from a shotgun trap. Yeah. That was one gun. I think it was several. It was one. Okay, well either way, I d I don't like I don't like it. It's too easy, too simple. Well, that one made sense. And saw. I don't know. That's a weird one to just pull out, but I think it adds a bit of lightness to it. Because, like, the whole time in your head, you're like, well, logistically, like, just shoot him with a gun. Get yeah. over with. That's what you always say about, like, like slashers. Like, oh, if they had a gun, it'd be over in two seconds. Instead of having to painfully chase them. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I he could have done it in a more clever way. Like, no, it was he, great. Just, he could have, like, shoved the gun up her pussy and then shot her or no. something. Ew. <laughs> Tasteless. No, he did the fake, like, ooh, I'm in pain. Gun out of the sock. Bam, bam. Dead, bitch. Well, to each his own. And then he used her to light up a, a sign. <laughs> and then during lights, a little sign that says circus. <laughs> Why are we together? Why am I with you? I don't know. I, sh- I should be... this. This We should just rename this episode Red Flag. <laughs> 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 Look, it was a fun movie with a lot of gore, and it was silly. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was. It was silly without it being funny. I, I will say, I did, like, as bad of a movie as it was, I at least enjoyed it. I it at least was, like It ha- was fun to watch. It was fun to watch, yeah. But I can still think of Which movies. Is, if it's fun to watch, why wouldn't you rate it higher? Because it can still be a poorly done. Like, The Room is a really enjoyable movie, but it's awfully made. So you It's would, an awful movie. So what? You would give it half a star? I would give it, like, one half, two stars. Yeah. Bullshit. You enjoy it, then it gets a higher rating. No, it doesn't. You rate it on how much you like it. No, you rate it on how good it is. And if you like it, it's good. Not necessarily. Yes. It doesn't make sense. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that that would be I the rest of the podcast. That'd be the rest of the podcast right there. It's arguing about that. Okay, so grotesque. Is um that the last one that's mine. That's one the last one's yours, yeah. Um this was the worst movie out of the list by far. Um actually the worst movie I've seen all year. It was awful. Um I gave it a half star and you gave it two stars. Um not your lowest rated film, which is shocking, but still uh well still awful do you want to know why why because i enjoyed the gore yeah so that's why that's why it's not my lowest rated one the lowest rated one that we'll discuss later yeah the gore there was no gore and it wasn't enjoyable yeah there's a little bit of gore yeah no, teeny that's bit fair. that's but fair. so this one at least well being absolutely god fucking awful had some good gore moments that made me laugh that movie was porn but that movie made me sick i got so sick i almost had to stop it <laughs> yeah because of the shakiness it got so motion sick i think that's hilarious that that's the part that makes you sick not when he's like snipping off her nipples or anything no. like that's fine but no. but what there was i don't even remember what part it was that he was like, I think it was just him like spinning her on the. I think it was just him spinning her on the slab. Like it was so shaky. Hmm. I like I couldn't watch. But yeah, it was straight up porn. It it, it legitimately was. There like, was like a two minute scene of him like. 
fingering, fingering her. her. Yeah, like yeah. literally finger fucking her. Well, like also like slowly cutting her clothes off and like mm-hmm. licking her nipples and then like fingering her till she had her little moment. Yeah. And, and th- then like looking at his hand. And then he like smeared her pussy all juice over all over the, the guy's, guy's face. face. <laughs> and then he's like, let's see if you can reach and jerks him off. <laughs> that was that was and weird. Explodes over, see and it does reach. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that part that was when i like completely uh, checked out. it was cl- i was close to turning it off at that point yeah i really was too because that was Cause just that was a- pretty early on yeah yeah was it then it was like within the first like half they hour kid- he- they kidnapped them he kidnapped them you find out they're not a couple and then he's like i'm gonna torture you guys till you excite me yeah but first like play some smooth jazz <laughs> The part that I thought was so dumb about it was, like, how the couple is talking, like, before. They're like, what would you do if you had to die for me or whatever? Yeah. And then it was, like, the, like immediately after, there was, that was the first question he was asking them. It was like, okay, how contrived can you be? For well, because he... I don't... See, that's the thing. That's what's unclear is, like, did he say that because he heard them talking? Mm, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, see, that's Hmm. what I didn't know. I was like, if he said that because he heard them talking, but then why did he kidnap them in the first place? I figured it was just random. I figured he was just, it it was just really shitty writing. See, no. I don't, see, that's, I don't think it was. I I felt like that was planned. Hmm. But there's just no backstory. No, well, and, and then towards the end where she was like, I know your mother, your mother was a whore, like, no context, just out of, out of the blue, just well, like. Well, that's the thing, like, the char- you literally know nothing about these characters, except Doctor, mm-hmm. two people who work together, yeah. he likes her, she doesn't like him, really. Yeah, and then 45 minutes in, she just drops this whole load of backstory, and then just, n- it, we'd never even touch upon it Not again. even 45 minutes in, and like within the last seven minutes (laughs) yeah yeah exactly (laughs) well and the end was fucking ridiculous well because so like they say nothing we get through like the first torture bits where yeah they're like cutting off pieces of their hands and like they made like a finger necklace Mm -hmm. and then he cuts off her nipples finger and and nipple necklace (laughs) that's right finger and nipple necklace and then he nails his balls down Oh, I forgot about that. His wiener. That's I forgot. He completely castrates mm-hmm. a guy, and then oh, the and guy's he just pops like his eyeball. Yeah, but and then I, I love how he's just like totally cool in the next. He cuts scene. off. He cuts off the wiener, and he's like, "Oh, excitement! <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You live." <laughs> and then they're like healing, and they're like, "Oh, I really do love you." And then it's like, but you know that guy has this weird thing. I don't think he's noticed it. And it's like, what weird thing? Never talks about it again (laughs) till the end of the movie. And then she's like, oh, yeah, well, you have a weird thing. And it's you have bad body odor. And you got it from your whore mom. Yeah. I know your mom. I know her smell. Like, how do you know that? Yeah. And then he, uh, the thing that I thought was hilarious with that, that is he stabs her with the chainsaw. Cuts her in half, but then before finishing cutting her up in half, stops, grabs an axe, and then just hatches her head off. Her head Mm -hmm. goes flying in the air, comes back down. I think she lands on his neck. Yeah, bites him in the neck. While her her head is off of her body, bites his head. Which, in theory, could make sense. No. Yes, there are still, like, after firings. It happened quickly enough after he cut her head off. That I could, in theory, see her muscles tightening if she landed perfectly. Yeah, but not Not like, that weird. Yeah, not like I don't know. I Believable enough for me. But <sighs> I, mean, I just... I, I, I would understand if it was like an art, artsy, like Teratinian, Teraton, Teratino type of thing. But it, it was just so out of the blue, it didn't yeah. make sense. I mean, the whole movie didn't make yeah. sense, but... Yeah, and that was the problem. And I yeah. mean, that one, the one, the big torture scene in the middle 
with the fingers, the nipples, all that. Yeah. Like, the gore was really good. <sighs> it was graphic. It was graphic, yeah. But then... That was, like, their entire budget. The was fi- <laughs> yes, because the final <laughs> torture scene... Yeah. ...where he's like, I'm gonna gut you and tie your intestines to this <sighs> That's hook. right. That was so bad. It was literally a rope with some cloth yeah. covered in like in, fake blood yeah like this exactly it was so bad you could, so they spent all their money already mm-hmm. they it literally was spent very obvious it was like they spent their entire budget on the gore and then they're like just but not even all the gore just that one scene yeah yeah and then like they were like oh fuck we don't have a camera what hey jerry you want to go get your camcorder from your mom's house and let's just hold it and we'll make this movie that was like how that was the quality of the movie it was awful i can't believe this is like we're known as like like this is on a list and somebody was like yeah this is a i, I to be fair to be fair it is fucked up i this guess is, but this is a this is like a facebook image list yeah <laughs> it was, sure oh, it was a I screenshotted someone's text on facebook yeah sure it wasn't like roger ebert's like no fucked up list right no <laughs> i would love to see that list roger ebert's most fucked up movies oh, excuse me okay. <laughs> do you know roger ebert was i do know who he is and okay. i do not care about him he's a great man no he was no actually i don't think so i don't like him <laughs> you don't like him yes <laughs> why don't you like him I can't remember specifically, but there's a movie when I was younger that I liked and that he gave a bad rating to. And yeah. I was like, okay, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's stupid. <laughs> and so I never read another review of his. <laughs> I can't remember what movie it was, but. That, that's very humble of you, Molly. That's mm-hmm. a very humble conclusion. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, anyways, so... <laughs> Those are my five. <laughs> Those are your five. <laughs> um, so, Brain Dead. I... That was one of my favorites, for sure. I really enjoyed Brain Dead. Um, it was classy. It was gory. It was, or, well, not classy. It was, uh, style... That's the term. Stylistic. Mm-hmm. It was stylistic. It was gory. Um, I... I... I always been waiting to see it for the iconic, um, lawnmower scene where he chops up all the zombies with lawnmower. I thought it delivered 100%. Um, what did you think about it? Brain I, Dead? I liked it. Yeah, I will see. I gave it. I, I was I, trying to see what I gave it. Um, I gave it four stars. You gave it three and a half. Part of, I mean, it was just part of what ruined it for me was just the way we watched it. Because mm. we had the censored oh, version at yeah, first. Yeah, that did. I was really pissed about that. I like, and so like I was like really turned off by the movie until we found the uncensored version, and then we went back, mm-hmm. watched all the scenes that we knew skipped. Yeah, because it didn't like blur anything. It just like it just cut out jumped entire cut. scenes. Yeah, it sucks. So once I, once we found the, then it was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I uh, I can see why. You know, because it was heavily censored at the time. It was like, like you couldn't, yeah. you couldn't find it in theaters. It was like one of those like super underground type of movies that, like, you know, it was in that period where that shit was way censored. Like nobody wanted people to watch that. Yeah. Um. So I mean, it was significant in that sense too. Yeah, it was sure. a lot of fun. I would watch it again. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Well, I'm I'm surprised we were able to find it on YouTube also. Yeah, it was pretty. You good. know, that was good. Good find. Okay, um, Halloween ends. This one was disappointing as fuck, uh, for sure. We both gave it the same rating, a star. Um, mm-hmm. Your worst rate or yeah. worst rated movie? Again, because um, it was boring. It was boring, and there was no- not that much gore to make it enjoyable. Yeah, and um, at least the last Halloween, uh, Halloween Kills. Yes, that one. It was like okay, this is like pretty boring and then michael myers went ham at the end and it was great yeah and it made it worth it and that did not happen at did all. not happen at all like you can have a shitty halloween movie that still delivers and still michael myers killing people mm-hmm. but when you have a halloween movie that doesn't have that it's just a shit movie and it would if it had not been michael See, myers it would have been a decent movie it's hard to say that too because halloween 3 was a good movie yeah but the 
And then there's no Michael Myers. Yeah, but that was, I'm pretty sure that was still made by John Carpenter. Yeah, it was. Who had done the first? So there's he gets a pass for that. Uh-huh. Secondly, it's early enough in the series where they don't really know what they're doing yet, so they have see. I think they're my, figuring it out. I think my issue with well, because I mean, Halloween was never supposed to be about Michael Myers. Yeah, um, exactly. But my issue is that, like the I think the difference between the two is that all the trailers and commercials focused on Michael yeah, Myers and yeah. Lori having their big showdown, yeah. which was five minutes. Not even. Probably less, yeah. Not even. Yeah, Michael Myers wasn't in that movie at all. And that's all. the thing is I feel like I wish they had just not put Michael Myers in it at all. Yeah. I wish it was like I didn't mind the Corey storyline. Yeah, no, I didn't either. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it had been just an independent movie with this Corey guy being a killer, but it like been Michael fine. Myers was just like thrown in there and it felt weird. Yeah, yeah. But like for when sure. Corey went like ham and like like the DJ like cutting his tongue off, that was good. <laughs> and this little spinning around. <laughs> that that I was gonna say that was like the one redeemable part of that movie is like when that happened. It was like when well, he like he just started bashing people. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was like that was like when you were like, okay, that's some Michael Myers shit. When he's just like, yeah, that reminded me of like the Rob Zombie. Well, movies and that was at that. the point he took the mask. Yeah. So. So it at least seemed like Michael Myers, but it Michael wasn't. Myers. Yeah, but that was almost worse. That that like pissed me off when I was like, no, motherfucker, that's not yours. Well, the thing is, like. Even in, like, the other Halloween movies, Michael Myers is like, oh, you, like, you can't touch him, blah, 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 blah. And he just, like, throws him down, takes his masks, and walk away. <laughs> yeah, like, right. 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 Like, he was gonna, like, he just let that happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and then, like, th- here's the thing. They, spoiler alert, sorry, but uh, it's, a, it's a garbage movie anyways. You're just um, gonna, before this episode, you just have to put, like, everything's a spoiler. <laughs> Yeah, don't I should listen. just put just put that in the description. Yeah, <laughs> don't listen if you don't want. Yeah, you know, in this day and age, I'm I'm not really sympathetic to that anymore. You know, get over it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the end how they kind of just like chopped him up, like they just threw him in the um the yeah. shredder basically. And it wasn't even that exciting. And it wasn't. And it was just sad. I kind of I got excited when I saw the grinder because I was thinking like. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, like mm. meat grinder, like super gory, like <laughs> meat everywhere. It was great. And it just didn't. You know what's sad? That movie was better than the Halloween movie. <laughs> it was pretty good. I do like it. <laughs> Except the get him coming. Get him coming. <laughs> like he tries to kill her this whole time. And like, oh, she's got a, a scar that looks, that's like the brand. or like, And they're like, we're family. So you killed all my friends, but it's fine. Get him. Go get him. Yeah, anyway. that movie's awful, but it's at least fun. Exactly. That's it, this one wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. I it really wasn't. Um. Okay. So this one was my favorite of the whole list. What was my favorite? Um. Tide. Well, well, oh, I you, gave a lot of four stars. Yeah. You. I was gonna ask you at the end what you thought your favorite <laughs> I think was. This was. Oh no. I guess I probably did. Okay. Never mind. Um. So this is my favorite. Was the black. Fun. I think it was my favorite. That was your favorite too. I think so. I thought th- it was just the. It was most well done. I know your criticism where it's not not really a horror movie. I mean, it's not even a criticism. Or not a criticism, just like maybe a, um, pointing out the mis- or misclassification maybe or something. I don't, I, I don't mean, yeah, I mean, more so like I went into it thinking it was going to be a horror, like a, a scary movie. A and gorier, it was like. More of just an intense thriller. Yeah. But. It was very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. My brother. Your we have the same dad. Who? What? Daddy Stephen. Oh, oh, that's right. Stephen King. Stephen King. Well, so his son wrote the original book. Yes. Um, I didn't do my research. I'm not. Cur- I, I'm curious if he wrote the screenplay. If he was involved in writing the screenplay at all. I don't know. Um, I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, it was great. I'm sure both of them are great. I'm sure the book's good. I've never read one of his books, but I would like to. Hmm. yeah well and th- I, the thing that really stood out to me is like um i think they took a subject that's really uncomfortable and they handled it really well like they like just you know child abduction you know i thought they it, they made it creepy without it being like 
um, exploitative of children or anything like that. Like they they, they yeah. balanced that very well. Yeah. It was creepy and scary, and you're on your seat the whole time, and you, like it's in lurking in the background. You know what's going on, yeah, but it's it not in your face. It didn't really feel like it was like every other abduction movie. Yeah, which yeah. I liked. Which it was all about abduction. Yeah. So, which is kind of weird that it didn't feel like it, but. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay, so I know you're not a fan of him, but I thought Ethan Hawke gave a fantastic performance. I, he, I thought he did really well. I didn't say he's a bad actor. <laughs> I just, you just don't like I him. just, I don't know. I just don't like him. What don't you like about him? I like his face? His, or? Yes. Yes. I don't know. What about just, it? What, what about his face? First of all, he looks like Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray. I didn't watch that. It's a band. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a band from the late 90s early 2000s when we were children that i adored and i thought he was a fine man but ethan hawk is not a fine man <laughs> he's just i don't know i just there's something about honestly it started with the purge mm. i just was like i don't like you for some reason and then now every movie I see him in, I'm like, I just don't like you. I don't know why. When I see him in The Purge, I think of like, that's basically just the dad from Boyhood. And he got a little more money and he just got stuck in The Purge. Yeah. That's what he reminds me of. He's okay in Boyhood. I think I think what it is, honestly, I think what it is, is that I think he's not a good scary movie actor. Mm. I just don't think he, he just feels like he doesn't fit. Out of place. Yeah. That's fair. Because That's I don't fair. mind him in Training Day. Yeah. And I don't mind him in Boyhood. You just, but you didn't like him in The Sinister either. Yeah. Hmm. Scary movie. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was great in Sinister. It's I think not, same I same director, actually. See, that's the thing is I just don't like him. I don't know. Hmm. Sinister is one of my favorites. I like Sinister a lot. Sinister is a great movie. movie fucked me up real good. And he, I thought he was really... It, really didn't feel for some reason i don't know why maybe it's just his hair but he had like joaquin phoenix vibes <laughs> mm, oh time. yeah i got that and too. so like he didn't feel like ethan hawk which was weird yeah not at all but that's uh, that's almost a sign of great acting when you can remove yourself like that and maybe maybe i liked him so much because you know you don't see his face because he had the mask he on has the, the mask on the whole yeah, time yeah well so I mean, I, I hated him less. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like him. Maybe we could be friends. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> Not Ethan Hawke, that character. <laughs> Ethan Hawke, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> be, be my friend, please. We're going to clip this and tag him at it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like your face. <laughs> They it's love so your face, though, he covered in has, blood. He always has, like, that little, little mustache and, like, like the slick back hair, and I just don't like it. He did in this one. Anyway, back to the movie. <laughs> back to the movie. I, thought, um, I don't know. It's good. It, like, surprisingly, I like, I always like background. Mm. And there, like, there just wasn't background for him like the bad guy yeah the grabber and i would have liked to see that but it like didn't need it yeah well that i mean that's what my thought was like sometimes having a antagonist be like mysterious is almost better well like like grotesque where the fact that we knew nothing about the main character made it awful yeah or well, like the main the villain not the main character like the yeah. villain yeah like we knew nothing about this doctor or his motivations or anything like made it terrible yeah but for some reason in black phone it worked and i think it, oof. i think it's because the focus was on the kid yes who did a great job by the way i thought that all the child actors were phenomenal in this movie yeah i don't know yeah no I, I mean, I was just like, I don't know about, I don't know. Well. Sometimes, sometimes it works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I can't imagine, like, as a director, having to direct kids. That would be really challenging. 
Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like working with kids. <laughs> so Which is funny for you to say. I can't imagine yeah. having to like direct them. Yeah, exactly. You have to like be really. You have to like be working, worrying about a hundred million different things, and then be well, like, "Okay, like, Timmy, let's get this smile." You like know especially I mean? kids in like horror movies. Yeah. You have to be delicate. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure they're comfortable and yeah. all that. Because I mean, you're not trying. You're not trying to scar them. Yeah. Well, most people aren't. Some people probably. <laughs> no, not kids. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Even your little God Almighty high above Stanley Kubrick <laughs> was very careful. Yeah. With kids. With kids, yeah. Not Shelley Duvall. No, he didn't kids. give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shelley Duvall, he was like, "Fuck that bitch." But yeah, which is kid. terrible. No, I agree. I agree. I don't think Shelly Duvall got treated well. I agree with that. Um, okay, so we got two left. We got X, um, which I gave a three and a half, and you gave a four. Um, Can I change it? You want to change it to what? Three and a half? I think so. Yeah. You know, because I, I had had a four originally, but then ended up decreasing it because I kind of thought about it. I was like, well, it wasn't really that good because the ending was really weird the, uh, the, uh, and just it, we didn't really deliver. Again. The gore was great. Yeah. I loved it. It was an interesting subject matter. And I also, I loved that Kit Cuddy was in a horror movie. That was yeah. just, that made me just beam a little you bit. You liked seeing his pee pee. I, I, you know, of all the naked women that I saw, that was my favorite part. I knew just it. Kit Cuddy's penis. <laughs> just that shadow at <laughs> one time. I guess I'm confused the more I think about it. I just, Part of it is I didn't hear part of it because we had started it when I was really tired. Mm. And oh, so I yeah. missed a big chunk. Well, we, we paused it. We, we watched it in two settings. Yeah. So, but like. Because I had to jerk off in the middle of it. Stop. <laughs> no, we had to go to bed because I was tired and very crabby. Yeah. Why was that so crabby? I don't know. Was that the night we got back from Kansas City? maybe yeah uh, yeah it was yeah that, you're right you're right real crabby yeah we were crappy and tired yeah. yeah but like there's like the part where can't even remember her name mia goth the actress i don't know what her name was in the movie um but mia goth goes in and talks to the old lady that mm-hmm. part can't remember any part of it <laughs> so that probably would have helped but yeah i just felt they were like that she was just like killing people and like killing them because she wasn't getting laid. But then, like, that's why I'm confused is because at the end. Are you tooting? No. You were. No. Yes, you are. Calling you out. You're a tutor. <laughs> anyway. She says to her husband, like, that she wants to save Mia Goth. Like, that's the one. Mm, yeah. The one for what? I feel like they didn't say. Or I don't remember, but. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, they I feel like they really, didn't say. They didn't clarify that, yeah. No. I think maybe it was just that she just was, she liked her. She was attracted to her. I don't know. Well, I think part of what I missed is that, like, she was saying, like, you remind me of me. But I don't know, uh, because oh, then see. the spinoff that also came out this year. They're the same Pearl, person. Yeah. Same act. It's Mia Goth. Mm-hmm. So. We should watch that. We should. I've heard that Pearl's better than X. Is it? Yeah. Makes sense. You Is don't it? have to watch X, but it helps. Like, you get more out of Pearl if you watch X first. I see. And Pearl's a horror movie, too? Yes. Okay, okay. So. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, I felt like there were a lot of, like, thematic um, elements in them. Like, I felt like it really related a lot to, like, our current state of affairs. Like, the, you know, just, like, the amped up, like, sex industry and, like, you know, the porn industry. I felt, I, I was, I just found a lot of correlation between that. I don't know. I was probably high and thinking too deep about it, but, like. Yeah. <laughs> I got out of it. Uh, don't go in a cabin on a farm with old people. Yeah, and try to make a porno. Yeah. I, the part that really irked me was when she just decided to start making porn. 
and like really in, uh, he deserved it he was being a douche but like still as like a guy watching that i was just like i cannot imagine my woman like right in front of me was just like hey i'm gonna just my hop in this woman? porn yeah your partner my property no <laughs> No, your partner. <laughs> yeah. Don't say my woman. That's disgusting. <laughs> Especially if you mean me. <laughs> I would never say that about you. So then who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Who's your woman? <laughs> my guma. Your grandma? <laughs> guma. Like Italian slang for like side bitch. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Overall, very good movie. He did deserve it, though. He deserved it. You think he deserved it? Um, with you think that h- here's, him. Here's the here's the thing. The whole time. Yeah. He made her feel uncomfortable, and like put her down. Because she was so shy and quiet and, like, talking about how great these porn actresses are and, like, yeah. how, like, she's like, I don't know. I don't really, like, think that behavior is great. And he's like, well, don't judge them because of that, blah, 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 like, all high and mighty. Like, there's nothing wrong with people doing this. But at the same time, like, putting her down for her, like, not being comfortable with it. So then she said, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. I just don't know if sleeping with another person in front of your boyfriend's face is well, enough justification. Well, he didn't have for... to look. He kind of did. I just, I he just was filming, but I, I just, I just don't think that the uh, punishment fits the crime. Here's the thing: <laughs> they weren't going to stay together. That, and that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> There, that was not it was clearly not gonna go anywhere yeah well i mean i've been in that situation before and i didn't see the i didn't see someone get fucked i didn't see my partner get fucked in front of my face because you weren't filming porn yeah true <laughs> so and you weren't throwing porn stars in their face yeah do you think porn stars can be in happy marriages yes hmm. like wow um i don't know if you of all people i think men can i don't think women can why like if they're if they're like a if they're like still in the industry i don't think they can why um because um men have a hard time generally men have a hard time being with women who are sexually active here's what you're saying though you just said that you don't think a woman can be in a happy marriage if yeah. she's a porn star. Yeah. Because her man's going to be unhappy. Yeah. So she can still be happy with her man not being happy. That has nothing to do with her not being happy. Well, yeah, but if, if your partner is And I happy. think if you, if you get with a porn star, you know what to expect. No, I agree. And if you get, I agree if that. you are with a porn star... And you get to that point of commitment where you're like, let's get married, then that doesn't bo- that shouldn't bother you. No, and look because it. you've gotten to that point where you're going to marry them. No, that that's a fair. I mean, look, that's a fair point. I don't. So I think I if do yeah, think it, they can be in happy marriages. Yeah, interesting. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a good. We've had a good natured conversation up to this point let's not uh let's not turn it maybe a couple podcasts online Mm -hmm. we can we can get into that talk about your sexism yeah (laughs) and your misogyny yeah 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 only to admit it (laughs) this is the thing that keeps you up at night (laughs) (laughs) Uh, okay last minute list spiral um the do not <laughs> um the 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 last the latest in saw installment yes. um also one of the most enjoyable viewings also an awful film i gave it two stars you gave it three um 
it was just fun seeing Chris Rock try to be serious. I fucking hated it. It was you. You gave it a better rating than I did. The Chris Rock part. The Chris Rock part you hated. The rest of it you liked. I I okay. I hated the story. Yeah. Oh, the story I was crap. I, yeah. It was not good. But it. But see that this is an example where it had enough um, gore and all the other elements to make it enjoyable. Yeah. 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 The traps always the traps. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you never get sick of those. No, traps. I don't. <laughs> I think they're great. <laughs> Obviously, there's some like I'm like oh that was subpar, but like still great, still enjoyable. Yeah. I thought it was clever parts of it were clever yeah i do think it fell prey to like the same problem that one of the movies had where um everyone was just getting murdered just to get murdered like there wasn't like a puzzle fighting chance aspect yeah yeah but i think it was like number four or five where like they, they were just killing motherfuckers randomly like without having mm-hmm. giving them any chance of i thought it fell prey to that a little I bit i say four but i don't know i can't remember four or five um that's what, that's the problem when you watch them like all together. Yeah, they all blur together. They all blur. I mean, they're all pretty awful movies overall. So it's like one and two. Honestly, the first three are pretty solid. First two, I can differentiate. Yeah. Three f- through five blend together. Yes. Well, the plots blend together. Yeah. So much. Yeah, and that's true because they're well. No, three. I do know. I do remember three. Four. It's four. That Four and starts five to blend especially. because it starts to do a weird like linear like thing where it's like this is actually happening at the same time all this other shit and the third one's happening <laughs> yeah and so it gets real confusing it's all juxtaposed but it's like done really poorly but again the traps are all great so yeah like you know what? I was proud of myself because I thought part of the part that I thought was bullshit ended up being like purposefully bullshit which, which part the when they skinned someone alive oh oh yeah and and they didn't show it and they didn't show it and there's a they reason. showed no part of him getting out of that and they didn't say why he was in the trap and i was really bothered by that yeah and it really sense. set me off and then it turned out that there was a reason for that i was like i knew it i knew they wouldn't do me dirty <laughs> I knew they would show me that if, if that was what was happening. Yeah, they definitely delivered on all that. Also, just seeing Samuel Jackson like as his dad that that was very confusing. It was very it was very confusing and weird and funny all at the same time. It mm-hmm. was. Uh, I still it was a whole don't thing. fully grasp the ending, but they are making another one. They are. Oh but, my god! But is Chris Rock in it? I don't think so. Didn't he die? Yeah, no, his his it's, uh, Samuel Jackson died. Samuel I know Jackson that. died. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Tobin Bell's coming back. Tobin Bell. Oh, oh, that's that's right. You told me about that. The yeah. guy that's the like the OG yeah. from Princess Bride. Jigsaw. Shit. Yeah. No, that's Carrie Ooze. Oh, oh, I did to- see that. Actually, Tobin Bell is the guy who plays Jigsaw. Yes, I okay, I did see that actually. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna do like a Halloween thing there, where it's like we're just gonna disregard all. <laughs> all the movies except the first one i don't know or like the first couple i don't know no what what it, what it probably will be is a throwback yeah they'll probably be like like a hidden chapter from like, the jigsaw yeah back in time which i would appreciate yeah they might as because, well at this point right i'm sorry but it really bothered me <laughs> the new voice or like the I Ooh, want to break it. <laughs> yes, that one was it was it, really annoying. It really bothered. It wasn't right. It was it was a really shitty voice. It was. So I, and I think They literally could have just had Samuel Jackson. Like Jackson's. his voice is perfect. They yeah. For they, that. They role. literally could have just taken Samuel Jackson's actual voice and have him do it and it would have been better. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, you got to get all this trap motherfucker. Well, the thing is like in the other ones like like in was it in Jigsaw, mm-hmm. they just altered. They did like computer alter his voice to make it sound like the real Jigsaw. Keep doing that. You can do it in one movie. You can keep doing it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Don't take that away from me. Yeah. Well, there were a lot of shitty directorial decisions, but overall, and I mean, the part of the issue is that 
this, I mean, and to be fair, it's not called, there's no saw in the name. Yeah. It's, yeah. and it was told, like, it was marketed as a spinoff. Yeah. And it was, and like the whole movie is like a copycat type of deal. Yeah. Because every Saw movie has been Jigsaw mm-hmm. and his disciples. And then there's this motherfucker mm. who's like, cops fucked up my dad, so I'm taking revenge and I'm going to do it like Jigsaw. Yeah. And so, like, this is the first time there's been a character who has, like, no connection to Jigsaw, who wasn't taught by Jigsaw. Mm, I see. Because every other character, like, Carrie Ulu, <laughs> and then Amanda, and then the cop, I feel like his name was Eric, I don't know. But all of them were taught by Jigsaw at some point. Yeah, yeah. They then- all had that little... That connection. Come to Jesus. Come yeah. to Jigsaw moment. Come to Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny. and this one was just like totally separate. Yeah. Well, overall, I think we had a good good time watching all these movies. And uh, yeah, is there anything is there anything you want to mention before we wrap up? Any any uh, conclusions from all this? We had a lot of nightmares. We did have a lot of nightmares, and the, we're going to have to take a couple weeks off of horror movies at least. Like not, I feel no, like, no, 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 not yet. Oh, I have to reset a little bit. Finish the list. Finish the list. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to play a game. If you don't finish the list, <laughs> I'm going to treat you like grotesque. <laughs> I will nail your balls to the <laughs> to floor. the slab, <laughs> to the table. All right, Molly. Is there any social links you want to shout no. out? <laughs> don't find me. <laughs> don't go find Molly. You, if you know me, you don't know me. Yeah, right, right. Okay, everybody. Every Monday and Thursday at seven. Uh, this was fun Halloween, Molly. Thanks for thanks for doing this with me, buddy, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, everybody. Just Bye. end this with making out. No, 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 no.